All right, in this video, I basically want to do a little overview of um, Gottlieb Frege's article, which is called on concept and object. And um, I've done, but I've been studying Frege lately because um, I'm taking a class which is called Analytic Philosophy, where we we study Frege, Russell, Moore, but mo but mostly Frege and Wittgenstein. So um, in class, we're we're almost finished with the Grunlagen. Um, and this article, which is called On Concept and Object, um, was after this. And a guy named Ben O'Carey um, pretty much um, gave a lot of criticism on Frege's distinction between concept and object. So if I can show that here, hopefully you can see it. This, this article was published in 1892. In Ben O'Carey was basically ar arguing against this uh, this this distinction this distinction being absolute and mutually ex exclusive. Um, Frege arg argues in the Gru in the Grulagen or the Foundations of Arithmetic that um, something something can be a concept or it can be it can be an object. There there is no concept object. It is not possible for these two categories to overlap. Um, something is either a concept or it is an object. Um, so, what is a what is a concept? First off, um, a concept kind of relates to um, Frege's distinction between between the sense and sense and reference. A concept is something that predicates or gr grammatically grammatically predicates um, all of our things something a object or something falls under a concept um, so let's say we have the concept redness that here like you don't have one object that signifies redness and all of redness you have this as a concept which um, predicates over things like fire truck, cardinal bird, and many other things. Redness predicates over objects, so concepts predicate over objects. And oops, um, a concept is something that isn't possibly instantiated in one object. There are things that um, concepts predicate over, and that's really what there is, according to Frege, at least. Um, ben O'Carey thinks that this, this that this distinction is not absolute, and therefore it is not mutually ex exclusive. Therefore, it is possible to have something called a concept object, something that um, is a concept and it is a object. So. Um, the big thing here in Frege's article on concept and object is this big problem of the of the concept horse. And the whole thing here is like it's you know we ha can have basic concepts like 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 redness or whiteness and roundness, you know basic properties which which are concepts and can predicate over objects. Um, but the concept horse is something that is made up of a, of a lot of simple ones like like this. However, Carey, Ben O'Carey argues that the concept horse, you know, is something that is this, this concept object thing, which um, can be a concept and a object. Um, so I guess you can still kind of think of the of the concept of, of the concept of a horse while there still is the object of a of a horse. Um, so it's kind of a messy thing as to um, as to how to as to arguing as to whether these two things are mutually exclusive and as to whether the distinction between them is absolute. Um, the the concept horse, I think, does show that this whole thing is just messy and it's diff and it's very very di difficult. 
and shows that language itself is complex. It just shows that it is difficult to figure out very many things in logic about what certain words say. So Frege argues against carry and says that a horse is an object. So even though this is called the concept horse, the concept horse, this whole thing is not a concept as it predicates towards a horse. It predicates towards a object and this concept, this concept horse is itself an object. So this whole thing is not, is, is not, is not, is not even a concept as it is an object. Um, and I think, I guess, the way I, the way I think about it is <sighs> the whole thing, and I guess this does kind of, I have this, these um, definitions here, or these words here, which kind of, in, in philosophy of language and logic and even epistemology and philosophy of science, we kind of have a dichotomy between intention and ex and ex and extension intention um, means that we're intending towards meanings or the meanings of a, or the meanings within a linguistic or logical system extension means that we are extending towards objects so in a way that object refers to or object relates to this concept rela concept relates to this form and name um, that's from Alonzo Church in his article The Need for Abstract Abstract Entities. Uh, form is a concept and a name is a concept is a, is a constant, which is a object. Sense and reference, which is also by Frege, the sense is more of a concept and the reference more more is the object, or this is also referred to as denotation by Russell and such. Concept and object, which is his also. Um, so I guess I wanted to do a short a short video here and kind of show the complexity of language and as to what Frege and Carey in their little argument dis discusses, um, and the complexity of language I think is what causes this this issue as to what the what the 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 the, the concept horse really really is is it a concept itself or is it an object? Personally, I think it refers to both a concept and an object, because even though, even though it's possible to have a idea of a concept of, of redness, it's possible to have even concepts of, of horses. But it's just a very difficult thing. It's messy, and it has to do with how complex language is, and all that, and, and all, all all that stuff. So, um, if you think that I've left I've left something out, or forgot something, or done something wrong, please comment below. I'd, I'd love to hear from you. Um, or, or if you have a question on Frege's work, um, I'm doing. I'm going to be doing a uh, series on Frege's Begriffsschrift, or his conceptual notation, as well as later on this, the Grünlagen. Um, so, if you have a question about about Frege's work, definitely comment also. And uh, thank you.